gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Brush up the clouds and cheer up, put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy, it's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. It's the Dance Fusion Show with yep. your host and artistic director, Marianne Kubler, on TVU. How are you doing, Marianne? I'm great. We're open. It's June 10th. I can. I just am going, this will be crazy. We'll have feet in here tonight. It will be a busy place because, um, as I told you earlier before we started recording, um, we are in a dance festival next week. A different one than how we've ever been in festival before. We're on our own. We're the only studio in the theater, but we come in, the kids dance, they leave. There's no audience, no parents are allowed in, but they get to perform. You know, it's great. Like some of these numbers, the kids have been working on since 2019. So we can finally, you know, they were supposed to be performed in the spring of 2020 and that got closed out. Not all of the numbers, but a lot of them. So it will be good to say adios to those and the kids get to wear the costumes and it will be great. We're, it'll be exciting. Crazy, but exciting. <laughs> yeah. And that's good because uh, that's sort of the dance world and Dance Fusion's uh, specialty. I think from all the stuff I've been watching and all the different performances you put together and how you described it and how everyone came together just to make it fantastic. It sounds like uh, crazy and exciting most years. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a little bit different kind. It's so yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be kind of crazy. So as I said, we're doing this festival. We dance uh, in a Tuesday morning block and a Wednesday morning block. So that's the fifteenth and sixteenth of June. Then on the sixteenth, starting we are going to be doing videos of this year's dances and also class photos. So we're gonna have one studio set up as a, a photo studio and then the other one will be for video. And that will go through till the 22nd of June. So if, if you dance on a Wednesday, that's when you will come in for your photo shoot and whatever. And then on Wednesday, the 23rd of June, we're in another festival at the Dow Center in Fort Saskatchewan. And that one will sort of be our grand finale. And then after that, we'll find a day that works. I think we have six grads, six or seven, that's all. Last year we had 14, but we will do a little ceremony for them in the parking lot and give them their farewell package from the studio and whatever. So yeah, I mean, everything is finally winding down um, we're pushing our summer camps. We have many of them, um, acro and aerial and hip hop and preschool. And then we have older kids, um, jazz and ballet classes in the evening. So stuff will be going, but it won't be quite the same as what we've been used to. So yeah, a changeover. You know, and I know I, I notice, you know, with our campaign, as I go through the uh, communities, uh, lots of properties go up for sale, but they sell real quick. It appears that, you know, younger families are moving into Sherwood Park. Are you, are you seeing, are you seeing any uh, you know, new faces yet or people start? Not, a, not a lot yet. I think people are still trying to finish this year. That's at least that's the tone I'm getting. Right. So it will be interesting to see if we get some new people. I sure hope so. Yeah. Um, because with COVID, a lot of people just went, it's, it's too aggravating. We just don't want to even go down that road. Yeah. So, oh, we have sirens outside here today. Oh, that's not good. Don't like to hear sirens. Um, so we, we um, are hoping. We're getting some email inquiries, but people are still taking it slow, right? And, and I don't blame them. Yeah. It seems like this is a quick turnaround and I'm hoping everything sort of stabilizes that we have COVID under control and with vaccinations and people maintaining protocol when they go out and that kind of stuff. I'm hoping we're okay. 
Yeah. So then for, you know, people that are, you know, considering, um, you know, putting, getting their youngsters or getting themselves back, back into dance for the summer, you know, what, what's the, what's the message that you have for them today? Oh, by all means, contact us. We've got so many different programs from preschool, little, little preschool, like from one and a half year olds doing our acro play to um, half day camps, to full week camps, to evening classes. We don't offer a lot of adult classes in the summer because as adults, we like to enjoy our downtime. So, but there's lots of stuff to take advantage of. And especially if you have questions about fall, give us a call or go on our website and check out all the different options there are. There are sessional classes, there are ones that run the whole year, September to June. So lots of different options. Now you, you guys have <laughs> yourself and as the artistic director, your, your team, so fantastic. Any, any updates, anything of note that- uh, with, the, with, the, with, the with the cast, with our cast of thousands? Well, <laughs> one, of our, one of our instructors, and I know you did um, a show with her, Taylor Haswell, mm -hmm. right? She um, is going to do her master's in Kelowna at UBC. So we are losing her. So oh. she is moving away from us, but we're very happy for her. And um, I mean, it's, a, I mean, what a terrible place to have to go to university, right? Kelowna, to, BC. To get a master's. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, to get a master's degree in Kelowna. Oh, bravo. Yeah, bravo. so good for her. Yeah, yeah. that's exciting. So um, we are looking for someone to take over a Monday night. I have one of our other teachers that's on staff already is gonna take over two of Taylor's nights, but we still have a night to fill, but, but we're optimistic that won't be an issue. And uh, pretty much everybody else is here. It's sort of like one of those places, once you get in, we don't let you out. So you can't, you can't leave. You're a staff member forever. So Yes, yes. You literally have to leave town. To, uh... you, you have to, yeah, move away. That's it. That's <laughs> your only option. You got to move away. That's good. Well, we have, we, you've brought uh, five wonderful, you've been promising them and they have arrived. Five wonderful uh, young people uh, presentations. Yeah, I wasn't sure because I have a list here of, of a couple of adult groups and I don't think she did she put in some older groups or just all preschool. Um, I'm looking at the first ones I got. It's a small world. Yeah. I put on a happy face. Yeah. I'm, I'm a dancing poodle. Yeah. Up to that point, I'm pretty convinced it's all young people. Yeah, there, there was under a couple the, of old under the sea and disco mania. Okay, that's all little guys. Oh, my gosh. And they no. are. They're and two thousand and five, two thousand and five. <laughs> so way that's that's before that's the last show before we moved into this facility that we're in right now. Wow. Yeah. And, and so it's, who who? Need, <laughs> so two thousand five. It's two. It's two thousand twenty one. Sixteen years ago, right? Yep. yep. So anybody anybody that we have come to know? Oh, yeah. most definitely. And it's a small world. Keep your eyes open. Uh, Olivia Scott is in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, some, uh, there's some other little ones in some of the other ones. I would have to really scan them. Um, <clears throat> they're, just, they're just prices because you never quite know what's going to happen. And my, one of my all-time favorites, and I said to Amy, we have to put it in, is put on a happy face. And uh, I had the little ones come out and they were sitting on stools and everybody is yelling out, put on a happy face. And she's sitting there like this. <laughs> There's just no, I couldn't get a smile out of her for anything. So you never quite know what's going to happen with little ones. Sometimes they come out and participate. Sometimes they just come out and go, I'm not doing this. And they walk off stage. You never quite know. So it's kind of fun to see how they started. And then you, you've already seen some of the more accomplished um, senior dancers. So you get the whole spectrum, right? And I thought it was about time we, we did some little ones. And, and, uh, and, so, and so nice. And we'll, we'll put them, we'll put them uh, uh, together. The, what, the one that's different is, is I'm a dancing poodle. That's 2007. Yeah, that's so a little bit. 
that's a yeah, little that's bit older. Little so you threw that. Who's in? You, you must know who's in that one. You, I can't. I can't remember actually, okay, but okay. I just loved it because it was such a huge class, and the costume was adorable, just adorable. And I think there was like fifteen girls, little preschoolers in this. class. I am a dancing poodle, dancing, dancing poodle. They're just so adorable. And um, priceless, priceless. Yeah. And I and the disco one, um, that is quite amazing. You'll see, um, I, I think we've had dances with Alyssa Stanky and Peyton Russell okay. is in is in the disco one. <laughs> and someone who's become quite a famous dancer um abby chung her brother um and her are now dancing in los angeles so she's one of the ones you'll see her twirling into the little boy and twirling out and um but but you'll you'll get a chuckle because peyton is directing him around on the stage because he wouldn't move so you know, like it's it's priceless they're just priceless so we're, we're talking 16 years ago and uh i you know i never asked how old these people are when i'm interviewing but they're young people so they're talking they're four and five years old um i think the dancing poodles might even be three some of three. them <laughs> yeah That's they're so little good. they're little it's little so little good. I know, um, I know, I know. Un under the sea, the kids are a little bit older. Okay. And um, that one, there's two sisters in that one, Madison Goy and Natasha Goy. Natasha is one of the fish and her sister is Ariel. And so they did it as a small group. But um, my sister loved making costumes. Um, she's been gone for uh, five years, she died of leukemia, but she made the best costumes and the fish were amazing. So you'll just get a real chuckle out of the fish because the little people are right inside and the tail is hanging out the back and their arms are through little, and they just wear this fish head and it's so their face is coming out of the fish's mouth. It's, they're adorable. Costuming and that, is that's the magic, you know, that's the magic and absolute um, splendor of imagination and participation and fun and enjoyment that uh, young people can have in dance that, yeah. uh, that, that they can't get anywhere else, really, you know, yeah. if, if you're a dancing family and you know, dancing cousins and your neighborhood dances, you know, then you're blessed and maybe you don't, you don't need a dance community, but that's so rare right so and especially especially after the shutdowns where the little ones have had very little contact yeah. with other people their age or size mm -hmm. um i think it's going to become really essential um we had an acro play class for kids they were between one and a half and three yeah. and um that was before the last shutdown they would come into the studio and even just seeing somebody else, their size was like, they would just stare at one another and it was amazing. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's priceless. You know, yeah, so if definitely if parents are feeling that uh, their youngsters have been isolated, this is, or have, or not isolated, you know, just by the way it is, this, to re-socialize, to, to get yeah. back in the community <laughs> in such a positive way. You know the the dance fusion family is uh, so accepting and include every every single person that's been on has all you know said the same thing as whether they are students or now student and now teacher uh, you know yeah. they've all it's so such a powerful experience and it's so it's wonderful that you've yeah. come out you've come out you know and have found a way to make it work and you're you know a vibrant part of the community so and to you bravo. You know, well, thank so, you. Uh, I'm hoping we can get people back in the door. I hope everybody will come back that said, it's okay, we're going to take a year off. Now I hope they realize it's okay, you can come back and join us and keep us going, right? Yeah. And then for the upcoming festivals and stuff, if one or two, you know, once in a while, TV, you can get an invite allows us to stretch technology wise and uh, you know, be, be a bigger part of the community because you've helped us be a bigger part of the community. Well, so I'm hoping, great. I'm hoping that we will get some video coverage from the theaters, but there's like the parents aren't even allowed in the I building. For this round, this round, yeah. right? For this round, so as we but, go we forward. May, but when we get to um, 
the videos that we're taking here, mm -hmm. we're going to decorate up the studio. I'm actually, when I'm done taping, I'm going to uh, call special events rentals and we're going to do drapes and piping and all that stuff. Wow. So I'm going to yeah. spend a little bit of money as much as I don't want to. Yeah. I didn't win that lottery. I don't know what happened on Tuesday. I really wanted it bad, but it didn't happen. Um, just to make it look a little more professional, like when we do our year end recital, the techs at Festival Place are great. They put that we put in our gobo, which is the dance fusion uh, logo, but they do all kinds of light shows yeah. and everything and it's special. So I'm Jeff has got some lights and he said he's going to help us with it. So we're going to try to make it look a little a little special for this because this will technically be the kids year end show, right? I can't get into a theater. So this is what we're doing. And fantastic. And, and Jeff has really, he brought a lot of skill, but I, I'm sure that he had to stretch to uh, meet the artistic director's approval of uh, production quality. So uh, that's, that's healthy it. for his career too. <laughs> it, it is. You know what? We've done wonders for him. He did a show, um, tap show, right? Do you remember from his yes. basement? Yes. Yeah. And uh, he had the sound system and all that kind of stuff. Now he's wanted everywhere to help studios set up sound systems for doing Zoom classes. And he just uh, videotaped ballet exams for Vimy Ridge Academy. Like he, it's great. I'm glad we could help him out because he's helped us out. So it's good, right? And uh, allow him to uh, express his art in that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he's most definitely. Another wonderful, wonderful person to have on the team. So oh, we're going to do each one. We're going to do It's a Small World, Put on a Happy Face, I'm a Dancing Poodle, Under the Sea, and Disco Mania. But for, we're just going to say goodbye. And again, it's the uh, Dance Fusion Show on uh, TVU with uh, your host and artistic director, Marianne Cooper. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you. Enjoy the littles.
Grey skies are gonna clear up Put on a happy face Brush up the clouds and cheer up Put on a happy face Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy It's not your style You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile Pick out a pleasant outlook Stick out that noble chin Wipe off that full of doubt look Slap on a happy grin And spread sunshine all over the place Just put on a happy face Put on a happy face Put on a happy face And if you're feeling cross and bickerish Don't sit and whine Think of banana splits and licorice, and you'll feel fine. I knew a girl so gloomy, she'd never laugh or sing. She wouldn't listen to me, now she's a mean old thing. So spread sunshine all over the place, just put on a happy face. Thank you. 
Grey skies are gonna clear up, clear up that happy face. Wash up the clouds and cheer up, clear up that happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy, it's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile.